All right. What's your name and where you from? My, my name is Edward Joseph from Rello, from Columbus, Georgia. How, how long have you been home? Well, since my mom died, but uh, I had to um, I had to go to prison, probation violation, and I got out last month, and I'm, I'm, I'm homeless again. I have nowhere to go. Well, just tell me your story, like what you think caused you to be homeless, how you well, grew up and stuff. They cut my check off when I went to jail and can't get it started back. That would pay my rent and utilities. But this out here, nobody to help me. How do you survive out here? Handouts from people in churches. How do the people look at you when they when you ask them for like money and stuff? No, some of them. Tell me they go get a job. Can't work. Can't even be around people. Can't even get my medicine. So I haven't got the check, I have Medicaid paid for. If you had an opportunity to work, would you? Yep, I could. I, yeah, I can clean up. I've been getting that mental health check. I said 91, don't really know nothing. Did 22 years in prison. Bull crap. I just want to die to skill, too skilled. You think going to prison and getting out held you back? Like help cause you to be homeless? Boy, they, they should have stayed up and send me back, keep sending me back, send me back, send me back. Should have got some help. Done something different, you know. They just told me in prison. What are three things that you think could help you like get off the streets and stay off the streets? Somebody help me. Do what I need to do about it. going to Social Security and talking to them and seeing the psychiatrist and take me to you can get my medicine, back, back, back on my mental health medicine. If I have a check that'll pay my rent and utilities. I can sit there at the house and watch TV. I can go in there in my refrigerator. I went to go to bed. Why'd you stop receiving your check? Why did they stop giving it to you? Cold, cold. Locked up over a year. They, they, they cut it off. You have to start it all back over. And I, I did that. And they, they denied me. I called Social Security and they told me to just go back over there and, and reapply for it because you, you probably get one. They told me I, I, I needed to be on the check back in 91 because I don't need to work around people. Because my mind. How hard is it being homeless and living on the street? Um, I'll just turn 52 and walk, and that's all I can do is walk. I had nowhere to go. And now I gotta tote this stuff, can't lay it down. My clothes and stuff. I'm trying to walk around till I die. Pretty. Prison over, I got hip tarsine, prostate cancer. They brought me all the way, they give me the bus ticket, brought me in, dropped me off at the Valley Rescue Mission. And then I, they told me I, I had to leave, because I wanted to come out later on in the day before you can come in and stay. And then I had that uh, card they gave me, and there was some money on it. Yeah, back out here walking, I just got this beer. I had nothing to know what to do, nowhere to go. 
you think the homeless shelters in Columbus help you a lot or not really? Well, now, if you need a, a place to sleep at night, that, that'll help you out there. But, you know, they feed you breakfast and put you out there on the streets, you know. And then you got all this temptation out here and then you got to walk and you hurting and stuff like that and you thirsty, ain't got nothing to drink. And, Hey, I just, I just, I just go get me some beer, bag for beer, man. And at least I'd drink me a few beers and make me feel better up here, you know. Help you forget. Yeah, makes me fantasize about good stuff and, you know, <laughs> don't hurt all that much to walk. And folks, it, they shouldn't have did me like that. I should have had some place set up where I could have went there and lived, you know. Then it just told me back here on the street. And it put back out here and he's either gonna die because of the stuff I got out of this. Somebody gonna kill me, think I got some money or something like that. A lot of places right here, they, you know, me, me to the homeless people and beat the hell out of them for no reason. Have you, you ever experienced that? Like, anybody mm -hmm. ever beat you up just for no reason? Not, no, not, not, not that, but uh, the people I, I know that live in tents and stuff like that, they uh, go down there and tear the tents all up and throw all the stuff in the tent. Man, the homeless is down there in the tent. Shouldn't have nothing against him. Other person ain't got no family or nothing, you know. Nothing to do. They can go walk around and beg for hand out, you know. She can't just sit there and starve to death, you know. I appreciate you talking to me, brother. Okay, thank you, sir.